Hi there. In this video I'm going to show you in Windows 10 how to prevent some programs from starting up alongside uh, Windows. Ok, so I'm not talking about programs that actually have a setting somewhere in their settings that uh, you can disable so they will not start. I'm talking mostly, uh, this thing can be disabled, so yeah, I'm not going to bother showing you for it. But for example, Skype. Well, Windows uh, did an update and since that update, Skype is starting uh, by itself. I can quit it, but it will always start. I can open it and I get this. So there is no setting anywhere that I can reach to prevent it from starting. So to do this for apps that have no setting or at least not an obvious one, press Ctrl plus Shift plus Escape. Then wait for your kid to make less noise so you can film. Yeah, YouTube and kids don't mix well. And in Task Manager, you might get a, a smaller version of uh, of task manager mm. let me think about yeah i think here it is so you might get this first time you start it you need to go to more details and uh, once you are here go to startup and here you can see every single program that loads with windows and you can see there are quite a lot of them even more than you see in here so for example I no, I installed this thing once to put something on my iPad 2 from back in the day. It's actually disabled. And then, for example, I want to disable this. Disable. Uh, yeah, for my printer, I will let them. What program? What is this thing? But be careful. If you disable stuff that's actually required, you might lose uh, functionality. So there's that. WinZip Preloader, really, disable, update notifier, disable, this thing, uh, yeah, I, if I want to do something with this, I will open it myself. This thing is uh, related to my sound card, I will leave it enable, and where is actually Skype? Here it is, my friend, disable. And at this point, I will just give my uh, computer a quick restart and uh, as soon as it's back on start recording once again, Skype should not be here anymore. I, obviously, you need to trust me that I just I didn't just quit Skype, but I have no reason to, to do that actually. Or actually, I will film with my phone. Yeah, I'm going to film the screen. So hope you are not bothered by that. Uh, anything else? Agent disabled. I, I'm not using this thing. When I need to use it, I will start it. Updater disabled. Yeah, uh, in time you will get a lot of things. This thing from WinZip once again, really disabled. And if you have a hard drive, for example, these things will slow up uh, the startup of your computer. On an SSD, you barely feel anything. Yeah, baby, in the background, what can I do? And uh, yeah, at this point, let me start filming on my phone, if it actually allows me to do it. Yep, I'm filming also on the phone at this point. Close this and go to, actually, I will stop this thing and then go to restart and hopefully this will not take a lot of time but and as you can see we are booted up and no sign of uh, skype anymore which is perfect exactly what we wanted so yeah i hope this video helps you in which case please give it a like Check out my other videos and as always, see you in the next one. Bye.